Hi guys, it's Riley, and I wanted to do another small little talks video. I'm gonna try to talk a little bit louder because I am filming on my phone, and I know sometimes my phone is weird when it comes to recording videos. So the topic of today's little talks is because it's something that I've been kind of dealing with, struggling with. I don't know, I don't know if you would call it like, a struggle but it's just a feeling that I've been having lately and I wanted to talk a little bit about validity and being valid in the age regression community because I feel like it is not talked about a lot even though there are so many people who go through spurts or constantly feel invalid in their regression, whether it's their interests in regression or why they regress or anything to do with that. And I go through spells where I feel invalid within my regression and that's never a fun time. And I kind of wanted to address that today because I feel like it's not something that is talked about a lot. And I make it a point in all my videos to make it clear that you are valid, you are loved, your age regression is perfect and valid for you. But it's hard to take that to heart a little bit. It's hard to take your own advice sometimes. And that sucks. And I think because unfortunately the majority of mainstream age regression, like the representation that's had is small white cis girls. And that's fine. I'm glad they have representation, but it should not be the only representation. There's nothing wrong with those people, obviously. Like, a lot of this feeling invalid doesn't have to do with actual invalidation that's happening. It's very frequently, and for me especially, an internal thing where it's just my own brain making up and saying, oh no, you're not valid, when in reality, we're all valid. But as someone who is trans, trans masculine specifically, and just a dude in general, and then also being very heavily queer, and also a bigger bodied person, are all things that are severely underrepresented within Adri. And it's unfortunate because even with Instagram's algorithm, the pictures that they promote to put in your feed when you follow tags are all going to be that traditional kind of common aesthetic. And they don't always, the algorithm doesn't really promote other creators that don't fit that demographic. And it sucks because that can lead to a lot of those invalid feelings. And it's interesting because it's like, I, I feel a very similar way even here on YouTube. There are not a lot of Adri creators. I don't know of a single other Adri creator that is a dude on YouTube. I don't know of any. And really, there's only two people who I know upload consistently, and that's Baby Danielle and Natalie's Age Regression, Bunny's Playroom, same person, but channel is Natalie's Age Regression. And I love their channels, and that's great. But again, it is the white cis woman rhetoric, which is fine. I love them. I adore them. I love them with my whole heart. They are so sweet, and I love their content. I just wish there were more people out there making content that was easier for us to find. I wish that there was more representation because a lot of the invalid stuff I deal with comes from not seeing anyone else in the community that has the same traits or characteristics that I do. And it's hard and it definitely contributes to the feeling invalid. But at the end of the day, regression is a completely personal thing and anyone can regress. The only requirement is that it's non-kink and non-sexual. Well, and that you actually mentally revert back, like you actually regress. But even then, within the regression umbrella, there's age dreaming and... So really, everyone here is valid. Everyone here is valid. But it can suck to not see that representation. So maybe this is me urging you 
if you have thought about making content or you don't see people like you represented in the community, if you think you can do it and you think you would enjoy it, I think it would be awesome if you became that representation. That's kind of what I started to do a couple years ago, just because, I mean, it's hard to look at myself and see myself as representation. It doesn't work for me personally, but I hope that I can somewhat be that representation for other people in the community. I know this was a short video, but this is just something that's been weighing on my mind the last couple of days, and I just wanted to address it. And just come on and remind you that you're all valid. You're all valid. Are you valid? Yes, you are valid. I love you guys very much. You are totally valid. I'm valid. You're valid. You're valid. They're valid. Everyone's valid. We love that. I think that's all I have to say on that for today. I might discuss this again in a future little talks. I don't know. I'm not totally sure. But either way, this was very nice. I like doing these little talks on my bed. <laughs> They're fun. It's fun. If you enjoyed this video or just want to see more content all about age regression, you can subscribe to this channel because I try to post over here a couple of times a week. But if you would like to keep up with me day to day in between uploads, you can follow me over on Instagram, which is at crayons and pencils or over on Twitter, which is at crayon kiddo. I have merch in a Redbubble store. It's linked below. So is my Ko-Fi and wishlist. If you want to help support a baby and support my content, very good, very excited. I would also like to give a huge shout out to Baby Batty on Instagram for the wonderful gift of a Nintendo Switch Lite. It is coming in the mail. I will be doing an unboxing video. I am so excited. <laughs> I have two other non-regression channels if you want to see other kinds of content from me. I love you guys so, so, so much, and I will see you soon. Bye! -bye.